So today I'm seeing a patient for breast augmentation revision and I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about capsular contracture. So 10 years ago you had breast augmentation with saline or silicone implants, do we know? Saline implants, yeah. huh? Sure. They feel like saline implants and the implants supposedly were placed under the muscle and they probably were but the muscle was released from here to here so that what we have now is an implant that is sagging, pushing the muscle edge away so you can see the edge of the implant. There is rippling and there is virtually no breast tissue to work with. This is skin only and that's implant. And we have what's known as Baker IV capsular contracture. That's when the capsules are so tight that are deforming the shape of the breast and also creating or causing pain at the same time. Scar tissue, which is the capsule, capsular contracture essentially is scar tissue around the implant. Whenever you place an implant in anyone, the body forms a capsule around it, which is just a thin scar tissue. In a minority of people over the course of many years, that capsule can become tighter and tighter and tighter a little bit every year and create capsular contracture. There are different grades of capsular contracture described by Dr. Baker. And essentially, she has what's known as um, grade four or Baker four capsular contracture, which is severe deformity of the breast. And it's even extending on her abdomen as this band of scar tissue coming down. So we have deformity. We even have excess breast tissue here. We have no breast tissue. We only have skin and we have um, capsular contracture and implants that are too large. So this requires breast reconstruction, meaning that you just can't go in, remove the capsule, remove the implant and put new ones because there is really nothing to hold that future implant in place. So what we'll be doing is going through her previous breast lift incisions, opening up the breast, removing the capsule, removing the implant, bringing the pectoralis muscle, which is up here, all the way back down here, suturing it here, putting a drain and removing some of the skin and the scar tissue and come out. Then we're gonna wait for this muscle to reattach and heal well, and then come back and place a smaller implant under the muscle. Now, if the muscle is too thin because it hasn't been functional for 10 years, then I may have to put a, a mesh down here, like a cup to hold the future implant in place. So that's the fun of reconstructive surgery. <laughs>